right here. As these three all want a shot at the title tonight. Double taste them. What's got to be going through their minds, Mike, is they've got to get a victory as quickly as they can. Each one thing they're thinking that. Because if they do, it'll leave them a better chance, a better shape when they face Jeff Garrett later on. He may have spent much of his athletic career on the gridiron. The former National Football League linebacker with both New England and Buffalo. But his heart and his mind always on the wrestling ring. He may have competed in the Super Bowl, but his dream was always to be NWA World Heavyweight Champion. Tonight, the alpha male can accomplish that dream. But first, he has to win this high stakes, triple threat elimination matchup. I'll tell you what, we saw how close he was before becoming the World Heavyweight Champion. So close. But Jeff Garrett able to come out on top. You know Monty Brown's been thinking about nothing but becoming the champ. But here's the intrigue, I think, that you mentioned earlier. Not just who wins this, but the intrigue and what would happen if this man wins. When the boss, NWA Director of Authority Dusty Rhodes, added the name Kevin Nash to this triple threat match to determine tonight's challenger for Jarrett, Dusty knew exactly what he was doing. Dusty realized that Kevin Nash's ego would take over. When you dangle a carrot like the NWA World's title, you have to know that there would be dissension within the ranks of the kings of wrestling. Dusty's plan to fight and conquer, and that plan looks to be working to perfection. Well, it only proves my Canadian business. Your only friend when it matters to you, when you can get something out of it. But when Dusty said, when the world he ended a two-year hiatus from the sport of professional wrestling when he returned with a bang by joining TNA. Diamond Dallas Page truly has the credentials to be considered as the number one contender to Jeff Jarrett in the NWA title. Think of those multiple reigns as WCW World Heavyweight Champion, among other title belts that he held. But the question that I'm going to ask here the recent issues that DDP has had with Raven and Eric Watts affect his concentration in this match. I'll tell you what, he's doing something very smart. He has given himself the home court advantage as he bonds with the crowd right there. He knows that that sometimes can give you that spark and that momentum that you need. And he's always been good with the crowd and they're behind him right here. What a matchup this is going to be, Mike, today, because every one of these three has their own personal reasons for wanting that title. And who, and another question, will DDP and Nash be able to work together? Well, just what I was thinking about. I was going to bring up the dynamics of this three-way triple threat matchup. Earlier, we saw that very interesting proposition that Kevin Nash had for Diamond Dallas Page. Remember that they had a mutual understanding. Stay out of each other's business. But Kevin Nash approached DDP, asked him to join forces tonight to take out Monty Brown. Well, it's not a bad strategy, too, because, you know, you've got to eliminate somebody. And he felt like, look, let's work together, let's eliminate Monty Brown, and then we'll go at it. You know, I don't think it's that necessarily bad of a, a strategy, but you can see that DDP, I don't think, trusted him. That's the key word. You heard what Diamond Dallas Page said. Trust Kevin Nash? Oh, look at this. DDP working on the... Oh, man, went for the cutter. Diamond cutter attempt in the opening minute of the matchup. I'll tell you something. What bothers me, what worries me about Monty Brown is his lack of experience when he's fighting with the two other people in that ring right there and DDP and Kevin Nash. But to his advantage, you can look at him and realize what an athlete the alpha male is. He truly is an alpha male. And what an athlete who's focused on one thing. And you know what that one thing is, Don? The NWA World's Heavyweight title. Monty Brown has been dreaming of this moment since the time he was a kid. What did he mention to us? You were there, Don. Oh. What did he have in terms of in his, on his bedroom wall? What posters? It not wasn't, foot, not yeah, it wasn't Johnny Unitas. No. It wasn't Joe Namath. It was Dusty Rhodes and Nikita Koloff. Think about that. How about one other story? When Monty Brown played in the Super Bowl, the Super Bowl game was in Atlanta, Georgia. What did Monty Brown do in Atlanta, Georgia? He went to main event fitness to a gym, hoping to get a look at one of the wrestlers that he admired. 
That shows you the determination and the focus that Monty Brown has had for years. Well, it's like when you talk to him and you ask Monty Brown about his his career goals, and, and everybody thinks, well, he's doing this because football's over. No, this is his career goal. He's doing what he's always wanted to do. Football just gave him an opportunity to get to wrestling, not the other way around. And how close did Monty Brown come recently on impact? In a matchup against Jeff Jarrett, I'm going to tell you, he came just wow. this close to beating the king of the mountain. I've never seen anybody shrug off a guitar shot like Monty Brown did in that match on impact. You can see right now yeah. Nash. Look at Nash mocking uh, Monty Brown. Very big height advantage that Nash has over just about anybody. Trying to hold, trying to hold up there at him. And Nash right at the seven foot mark. Alpha male Monty Brown, 6'2", fighting back out of the corner. And he's breaking the rights right there, Monty Brown again. I think it's going to surprise Nash, and it obviously has. The determination of Monty Brown, but oh, Kevin Nash using his experience right there. Adding to the entry, the match, the, the way the match is unfolding in front of us, seeing how earlier it was DDP and Monty Brown squaring off, while Kevin Nash sat back and watched. Yeah, they're taking their turns, Mike. Now DDP, he's sitting back while Nash and the Alpha Man fight it out. You know, I, I, I wondered if they could work together. I don't know that they even really are, but at least they, wow, kind of are. Oh, look at the size of Nash. Was that impressive? It, it was. Side slam by Nash leads to a pin attempt, but only a two count on the alpha male. I'll tell you something, this is smart by DDP right here. We saw Nash doing it earlier. Poor old Money Brown, he's had to face off, like we said, one after the other. If you're not in it, rest a little bit because you're going to need every bit of your strength when it gets down to one on one. In this triple threat elimination match, there are three ways that you can be eliminated. You can pin your opponent, you can force him to submit, or you can throw him over the top rope. Kind of like a mini gauntlet, sort of, in this stage, where actually they're, you're, you're down to the finals, but you can still be thrown over the top rope, even when you're down to the final two. Pin, submission, over the top, that's how you're eliminated in this triple threat bout. You can see Nash outside the ring there, trying to catch his composure. Monty Brown again, not getting a break. The alpha male not getting a break at all. DDP able to counter that hammer lock with a back elbow. Oh, man. Nice close line right there with the left arm. Short arm, left arm, Lariat by Diamond Dallas Page. Oh, man, he just brings it around, I'm telling you. DDP focused. I mean, when you talk to DDP, he knows the world championship is in his sight. He knows it's in his grasp, but he wants it bad. Discus clothesline by Page leads to a two count on the alpha male. Tries to shoot him off. Monty Brown stops him. Oh, man. great move right there by Monty Brown. Knee, then the DDT. Then the cover, Nash to break it up with the elbow. I'll tell you what, that's not just an elbow either. That's seven feet, 300 plus pounds of an elbow. Yeah, dropping down on you as Nash just did on Monty Brown as he broke it up and made the save at two. As you can see right here, it looks like a little double team action right here of Nash and Page. I don't know, we heard Page earlier. I'm, I'm not buying into the fact that Diamond Dallas Page is joining forces with Nash. I and mean, you can't blame him here for a double team in the corner. No, but I'll tell you what. That's just, just smart strategy. Kevin Nash, though, is keeping to his word, the word he gave DDP. And look at this, Monty Brown just... Obviously, they both fear Monty Brown. They know how dangerous he can be as the two of them are... Setting it up to take him out. So this. Oh, wait a minute. Elevates him up, man. Down. He's out. He's been eliminated. Over the top and down to the floor. One of the three ways that you can be eliminated. Nash taken out by DDP. And look at Monty Brown. Oh, you, can, you can see the look on Nash's face. He thought he had DDP set up. He lured DDP in. But it didn't work because DDP did. But the bottom line is that Kevin Nash, the one that we fought, what would it be? Wait a minute. Two. No. He just out. Oh, nice right.
right there by Page. Boils down here, avoid the diamond cutter, and avoid the pounce. Page, oh, nice roll, roll up, here we go. Two. Again, Monty Brown just fighting with everything he's got. You can, oh, DDP levels him right here. Larry, at least two. No. Not enough. Count. Not enough. Look at the look that Page is giving referee Andrew Thomas. Oh, he doesn't like that. I think he thought it was over with. Page picks Brown up and try and fire him across. Monty able to reverse it. Knee to the midsection. Doubles DDP over. Clubbing blow to the back. Wow. Second and then a third shot with authority. Well, he's got you right here. He goes for a quick pin. Two. Oh, nope. DDP fights out of it. It's down to one of these two. We'll get a shot at Jeff Jarrett later on the program. That's what it boils down to. The winner of this match. Oh! To Chambo here. Took him over the top rope. NWA World's Heavyweight title bout. Later tonight here at Final Resolution for the one man that comes out of this triple threat elimination. Is it going to be DDP? Or is it going to be the alpha male? Page shot into the pole. Oh, nice shot again and again. The fourth of the blow by Monty Brown. Almost shot DDP over the top rope. He's lucky he stayed in. Monty Brown using his power right now. Flings it behind him. Fall away. Slam just tossed him overhead. Wow, what power. What strength from the alpha male, Monty Brown. You can see now the crowd sensing that this thing has turned to Monty Brown's favor as he's just letting DDP have it. Here he goes. Wow, slammed him down again, Mike. Power slam. One, two, no. Still life left in DDP. I'll tell you what, DDP, this guy's got a heart, man. He is... He's been so fired up since he's been here at TNA, and he wants that championship. He wants the NWA World Championship. He's got the hunger again. He's got the experience, and he wants the glory. Powerful chops to the chest of DDP. Oh, man. Think about this right now. You know Jeff Garrett's in front of a monitor somewhere watching every single move going on right now, knowing that these guys are wearing themselves down. What do you think, Jarrett? Everything's going through Jarrett's mind, realizing that Kevin Nash is now out of the title picture. I think he's somewhat relieved of that. I really do. I don't think he's quite ready. Oh! Went for the diamond cutter! Went for the cutter! Oh! He pounced him! He pounced him! Pity, pity! Here's one! Here's two! He's got it! He's got it! He did it! Wow! The alpha male, Bonnie Brown, hits the pounce! Period! And that leads to the three pounds! Shot tonight against Jarrett. The alpha male has succumbed the odds. Let's see if we can see this again when he hits the pounce. There he went for the diamond cutter. He countered it and then he leveled him. And I just think the exhaustion set in at that point. And there you see it. Alpha male Monty Brown connecting with the pounce on DDP after Kevin Nash already eliminated from the matchup. Monty Brown scores the victory and he will challenge Jeff Jarrett for the NWA title later tonight. A chance to realize his dream. Oh, he's so close. You know he can smell it now. What I want to know is how good a shape he is because he's going to have to reach down deep because Jeff Jarrett's just waiting in the wings. But DDP, you can see the shock on his face. He just set himself. I think if DDP would have been able to What's hit this? that diamond cutter. Look at, oh, look at that. Nice show of sportsmanship right there. The mutual respect exhibited by Diamond Dallas Page and the alpha male Monty Brown.